Welcome back guys, JDog here at Seacoast. Today we're going to be going through how you can create yourself a Minecraft server trailer. This is so you can advertise your server, because of course once you have got your server out there, what better way than creating a really engaging video to grow your player base. I'm going to go through any tips and tricks that you can use to make some really nice video effects, free methods for you to be able to use to edit or just make different transitions, ideas on how to plan your trailer, and everything else for music starting points and ending points for it. And the way to get started, unfortunately, as boring as it sounds, is taking a few notes. So first thing that we want to get down is what key points do you want to show? What are your features? What is gonna make you better than any other server? And what do you want um, everybody really to see to then go, I wanna join there? So I'm gonna use one of my servers as an example. Um, so let's just list some key points here, just so you know what I mean. So this particular server, this one has shops. So you have a work and economy. It's got spawn protection, so people can run around safely at Born. It's got biome selectors so you can go um, and find a different biome by going into the teleport and it's got a starter kit for anybody that joins the server for the first time. So these are going to be my main points. Obviously this isn't just going to be your main points, you might have many different points and probably more than four. However just for the purpose of the video we're just going to use these four points um, and I'll follow along because then we'll end up making a trailer by the end of the video. Next thing is, is it easy to understand? Um, you might have spent three or four weeks building a particular thing on your server which might make complete sense to you and any other players that have been playing in the meantime however it probably won't to somebody completely new so although you might want to spend the majority of the video explaining all the rules and how something might work for one particular mini game because you've spent ages setting it up when people are watching it they're going to want to see something quickly and they sort of make assumptions from it so we're going to label that as a mini game plus not to forget that people do get curious so if you show a really interesting mini game and don't put out so much information about it people are much more likely Likely to want to actually try it and see what this mini game is, rather than just explaining for a long time what each mini game is and making your trailer extra long. Alternatively, if you have got a few mini games, perhaps list them just by name with a quick show of each one e.g. build battle, bridge, or just say that you have a variety of minigames. Following that is going to be your opening scene. What is your opening scene? What's going to be a really nice dramatic thing to first be very eye-catching for anybody watching the video? Do you perhaps have an incredible spawn? Do you have a really awesome minigame? Perhaps even some builds that some other players have done on your server? So for my example, um, I'm going to use the spawn area because it's really impressive and nicely built. However, try and find one of the best things that you can really start on. Again, you want to grab people's attention. It's going to be the first thing thing that they see. We're going to follow that up with music and themes. Make sure that you do pick some sort of theme, um, whether it be a bit of a dark theme, a light theme, happy theme, an inquisitive or mysterious theme, um, and then try and get music that suits that. Now to get free music, there's only one place that I'm realistically going to suggest here, although there is many other places. Um, I'm never 100% sure whether downloads are safe. Obviously, do check or use them if you do have them. However, one really good place is using the audio library on YouTube. This is because um, you know that it won't get flagged up with a copyright claim. Many apps claim to be able to let you use the music, however if the app goes down or something happens um, they might change the license on it, you'll then find you'll get a copyright claim which means that you have to replace the music on the track, which gets annoying. All of the music here, and they do have lots of free music and sound effects as well, can be downloaded for free and you can simply add them to your video. So I'm going to keep my theme as happy and fun. Next up we're going to go to how to film. Um, what do you have to actually film on your PC or your device or whatever you're using? So with the Xbox you've got to quite easy options here which is the game recorder already on your Xbox once you do record it um, it does limit you to certain times but you can then send it via OneDrive on your Xbox straight to your PC or anywhere that you want to edit it along with that or alternatively you can actually format a USB if you go onto YouTube and check it out it usually takes about a minute process you just change some settings on a USB you can then pop it in your Xbox and it will let you uh, record in HD for up to an hour at a time now I'm not gonna lie I don't have much experience on PlayStation however I am sure that there is some sort of in built uh, recording system so do use that if you're for PlayStation. Now let's move on to PC because you're going to have a lot of choices here on PC. First of all you've got your game bar so if you hold um, if you hold the Windows key and then press G once you're all set up with the game bar and Xbox you can simply go ahead and start recording your screen. Next up is going to be your NVIDIA GeForce um, experience program if you have got the graphics card installed. So by simply pressing out and F9 you can record your screen, add any uh, microphone or any sounds that come off your desktop or anything that you're going to say into the microphone microphone. In fact, that's exactly what I'm using right now, and it works really well. And of course, another way is Streamlabs OBS, um, and again, all these methods are free. Once set up, you can record your screen, record your gameplay, or anything else. Perfect, so we got our plan ready. Let's head in-game and start doing a bit of filming. So as we discussed, what we want first um, is to pick the key points and then really show them in a 
really nice way for other people to see easily. So in this case I want to start off because the build is quite impressive here and I want to make some sort of a sweeping view just so everybody gets a really nice check out of the whole spawn. Make sure to plan the scene well to make sure that you're capturing exactly what you want to capture. So I'm going to start off here because it looks nice as it just suddenly appears out of the mist. One thing to remember is by pressing F1 you're going to get rid of everything on your screen so you can get a nice screen selection, make sure that you line it up and then of course press record. Once you start record, do one clean motion. Try not to go left, try not to go right at the same time because that's just going to make it look a bit jittery, whereas this is going to be a nice slow effect going straight forward. Of course, other good ones is moving sideways, moving diagonally, or holding shift whilst pressing forward up or down. Unfortunately, moving left and right does ruin it a little bit, um, so try and keep going one direction if you can. Now that we've got our sweeping intro, what we want to do is we want to start showing um, some of the things that we have got. So obviously we have shops, so we want to show a nice selection of the shops. Now again, you don't have to keep doing this in first person. A nice way to do it is actually third person. So it's nice to get a person running in like this for an action shot. And of course, a nice way to show the shops is just to have a little run through the shops like this. And then potentially following up um, with another one of it running towards you. Try and mix up your scenes so you get a variety of sweeping left, sweeping right, and third person views. Like I mentioned before, keep things simple. For the kingdoms here, it could actually get quite complicated in the way that you describe how the kingdoms can be bought, how you can access areas, etc. However, by simply stating that you have kingdoms in here, it's going to make people think, well, what are kingdoms? I want a kingdom. I want to find out more about this. Again, as previously mentioned, don't overshow something. I know it's very exciting and it took you a long time to build. However, as a newcomer, it might not be quite so exciting. Great, so now that we've got all of our shots, let's move on to editing this. So now on how to edit, and I'm going to suggest two things that I use here. One's, and one's going to be for a more simple setup with your phone, if you haven't really got a PC or a PC that can't really handle a lot of things going on. And that's going to be the UCut Video Editor. Now this app is amazing. It is on Android, I'm not sure if it's on iOS yet, but I use this for my majority first year of actually doing YouTube, and it's really good. Everything from transitions, adding in your clips, changing effects, adding wording, and all that you're going to be able to get for free and you can do it on your phone. Not only that, it leaves a really good video. Next up is going to be the DaVinci Resolve uh, 17, I believe, and that again is a free software. It is also a not free software if you want to add more stuff to it, however you can download it for free. This will take a bit of space on your computer though, and I do believe it needs something silly like, I don't know, like I think it was 14 to 16 gigabyte of RAM just to make it all run. Um, my PC has 20 gigabyte and it still uses almost its full capacity when um, editing, however you're going to get an almost film-like film finish and in fact it is actually used to make films as well however don't underestimate um, the power of your video editor most windows and mac will come with some sort of video editor which will be um, perfect really for being able to create your film you can simply drag and drop your clips around you can cut them split them add text motion 3d effects and there's a huge amount that you can do for free however we're going to go into davinci resolve because that's the one that i use i prefer it however use whatever you want to edit it and of course line up we don't want to see any outrages we don't really want to see anything else going on apart from the actual view of the preview of your trailer. So we got our first bit that we're coming in, that was of course part of the plan, let's just make sure to clip it there. Now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to find all the other interesting bits, making sure that we crop out any bad bits that we don't want. As you can see here we've got another sweeping edge view, so we're just going to take out everything in the middle and we're going to go um, from this one straight to the sweeping edge view. Transitions are important, um, whatever app you're using, whatever editor you're using, there will be some sort of transitions. I'm just going to go for a cross dissolve, so it cross dissolves from one to the other, and as you'll see, we'll now have a nice cross dissolve from one to the other. If you've got a sweeping edge angle, make sure to stop before it stops, otherwise um, there's a bit of a jolt between one clip and the other one. So I'm just going to shorten this transition, um, so it should look like it keeps moving straight into the next shot. Make sure to add in any other scenes or sweeping edge scenes that you have put in, and then of course move on to the stuff that you wanted to show, so that's going to be the important stuff like the shops or anything that really you want to advertise so let's just go forward to the bit with the shops so the bit that we wanted to show is going to be the bit where he runs through and then runs back in third person so again let's unclip uh, or let's get rid of any unnecessary bits that we don't need because we're going to want to go straight from here we're going to cross dissolve and we're going to go straight into the shop now we're going to edit it so before he hits the end there we're going to crop that we're going to take everything out in the middle and then we're going to go straight to where he's running back in third person we're just going to take that little bit out um, and let's just make a different transitions there. So now what should happen is should be running towards the wall and then running back. We have the other selling shops as well. So of course I'm just going to include that. Now of course this is personalized to me. However, 
um, you're going to do it for yours. So if you have a Minecraft uh, or a mini game server or something like that, you're going to want to show your mini game server. You're going to want to show the parts of it. Again, not going into a huge amount of detail, but just enough people to go, wow, that looks really good. Again, we want to make this short and sharp. We want to show the best points of it and not show anything that is unnecessary. Another good thing to do here, but I'm not going to be able to do it on here because we're just going to have music playing in the background, is add your track already. That way you can actually clip and crop it and you can do it to the sound of the track rather than um, just trying to match it up with the track afterwards. I would suggest putting your music in before because then you can match all the clips up. If you've got a really fast paced bit, you might be able to crop between lots of little things and just make it um, really suit the music. We're going to be adding in some title intros um, and outros as well. So this is Server X. We want it to say Server X just so people know um, well, pretty much what the server is about, what the server name is. We don't want to add too much wording, just enough for when they come on, they're going to see something and they're going to be like, oh, this is Server X. It will remind them. Now, of course, I'm not spending too much uh, or too long on the design of this. This is just for an example, but I just wanted to show you what you can do realistically within a short amount of time. So now for our intro bit, we have Server X popping up there. And of course, you can make this look a lot nicer than that. And for the outro as well, we're going to have the same thing. So it's going to pop out and it's going to say Server X. That is totally optional, but I do suggest leaving some sort of information maybe your discord maybe your server name maybe your website or something memorable that people can remember last but not least let's go ahead find some music and add the track you simply do that by picking a track and then going to download you can just download it just like that it will come straight to your files and then simply place your music with your track then simply add the music to your video make sure to adjust the music level so it's not too overpowering and now we have us a trailer it's not the greatest trailer however it's just a way to just show you how easily you could make a trailer so let's go ahead and check it out There you go. Now, as you can see, that of course wasn't the most effective trailer, so I've only spent about 10, 15 minutes on it. However, you have now got a trailer. Now you can build on this, you can make this better, you can add things, and you can really make this a really cool trailer for your server. So thanks for watching guys, I hope that's helped you make your really cool server trailer and for any more information like that, for any more tutorials, head over to our YouTube or of course our knowledge base. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.